This is going to be short. Tomorrow's will be longer, I promise. Um, Because I got some stuff I got to take care of with family. And really, there's not much that needs to be said. Uh, I'm looking at, right now, a picture with which many of you might be familiar. This is Kathy Griffin holding a fake decapitated head of fucking Donald Trump. I don't care that somebody would do this with a president. I'm anarchist, right? But it's been on Twitter for over a year and a half now. You know, it's been on Twitter. It will it will have its two year birthday this November. I just got locked on Twitter for doing something so much more mild than this for twelve hours. Kathy Griffin was also the person who uh, called for the doxing of high school children because she took an out-of-context clip of one of them smirking at a Native American who walked up to him and started to beat a drum in his face. The media ran with the narrative that these people were just harassing a poor old Native, but the guy walked into a cluster of them and started to beat a drum in their face and sing. Some of them were being cunts, yeah, but this guy just fucking smirked. That's all he did. Now, you can draw whatever fucking connotations you want. You can interpret this however you fucking want. But all he did was that. She can call on Twitter for the doxing of children. And she can have... A decapitated head of a sitting president on her fucking profile for two years. That sets the fucking bar! And if you don't think so, it's because you're an ideologue and a hypocrite. Now, why do I bring this up? well I was banned from Twitter uh, for 12 hours, and I had to delete my terrible tweet. It was the tweet at the top of the thread I showed in my video yesterday. Many of you have already seen it. But let me be fucking clear here when I say that this tweet did not violate the Twitter rules. For those of you who do not know yet, here is the uh, context <clears throat> the subject of Jill Biden and Hunter Biden was trending because leaked text messages uh, started to surface where he called her an entitled cunt because of the way she was treating his addict ass. I called her an entitled cunt and a vindictive moron the same way he did, the same way so many other people were quoting him as having said most of whom, the vast majority of whom, the vast fuck tonnery of whom are still fucking active and didn't have to delete shit. Um, and I said that she is an entitled cunt and very possibly a vindictive moron and that Hunter is right, but he's also an addict who forgot he left his PC in a <laughs> repair shop with incriminating shit. He's an entitled cunt used to Joe's protection and aid. They're perfect for each other. I'm right. I'm simply right. It doesn't matter what somebody wants to say about that. I'm fucking right. So, let's just start off with that, right? 
And I brought up in my thread where I said, like, came back to Twitter about, like, I don't know, 12 minutes after the, the fucking timeout and the no-no corner fucking expired. I, uh, I, I, I wrote this thread where I went over the fact that Vice has a tweet up literally telling people to take horse medication that is designed for horses, and they haven't seen so much as a warning about that tweet, but insult a powerful family and get locked out for 12 hours. This is the tweet. Where Vice, through Motherboard, was literally telling people to take HORSE PILLS! And has not even seen a misinformation fucking <laughs> needs context, nothing. NOTHING! Twitter does not block this tweet. Twitter does not suppress this tweet. Twitter does not try to get people to not take horse medication unless it is politically convenient. This is still up. They used the same thread to mock people for taking human-prescribed medication for humans. Ivermectin, when people take it, um, including the Joe Rogan that they fucking lied about, because they lied about what he took. They said he took dewormer and started to, like, <laughs> promote a bunch of stupid lies about him having taken dewormer, along with CNN, along with all these other people who just LIED! And said that he took horse dewormer. Um, all of these liars got to keep their accounts. They didn't get suspended. They didn't get locked out. This lie right here is still up. You can see it. This was my screenshot at the time. Let's see what the ratio is looking at right now. Uh, fucking no misinformation tags, no nothing. Still people for the vast majority calling them out because of fucking course they are. It's fucking bullshit! How many people were suspended or otherwise targeted by mainstream and social media companies because they said to take a human medication that you could get prescribed by you by a doctor like Mary Bowden who's having her medical license threatened over it? This is allowed to stay up. And the reason I'm bringing this up, even though this isn't like a koof video, the reason I'm bringing this up, even though this isn't an abortion video, is this is an example of Twitter's fucking evil. They will let people take off-label horse medication. That's fine. But getting prescribed a drug and taking that, that's misinformation or something. I'm a little irritated, and I've been a little bit irritated since last night. I was trying to relax. I was watching something, you know. I was uh, talking with friends, and uh, and then this thing crops up where it says that I've, I've been a bad boy. I've, I've done the bad thing. I've violated the Twitter rules. And, and like, <laughs> really, it's probably this person along with a bunch of other people that just like, hey, let's go report this fucking tweet, even though it's not actually violating any fucking rules. Because I fucking started to hose these people down in comments sections, and they couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle alternate perspectives, and the people behind the Twitter moderation team uh, have no problem being biased politically. They have said this repeatedly in Veritas interviews and various other fucking shit. So, when, when I brought this up, I brought this up as a good example of what is still up after MONTHS! It's been two plus months since this tweet has been up, telling people to take actual horse medication. It's been almost two years since a tweet has been up where Kathy Griffin is holding a decapitated Trump head. I'm pretty sure that a decapitated president head is WORSE than saying some mean words to them on the fucking internet. Correct me if I'm wrong! Huh? Why is that not hateful conduct?! 
piece of shit! I feel like that's hateful conduct. I feel like that's hateful conduct. Potentially also threatening contact, conduct. I feel like that's exactly what this kind of thing should be designed to stop. And my thing is FINE by comparison. But you're free to prove me wrong! I don't think you can. I don't think you can because it's bullshit. My ban was bullshit. And so is the same kind of ban when it happens to anyone else. Right here. That's my point about Kathy Griffin. Currently has a picture of herself holding up Trump's head decapitated. She participated in targeted harassment to the Covington kids and tried to get them doxxed. Did she get locked out of Twitter until she deleted it? No, she's still posting today. Chrissy Teigen re repeatedly made many jokes about being a pedophile and what she would do to children. She is still here and wasn't penalized for doing any of that! Moreover, anyone who came out against her was dismissed as a conspiracy theorist. Yep. Right there. You can go. You can see this. It's, it's a full article containing many screenshots. In case Twitter decided that posting screenshots of something one of their verified users said would get somebody suspended, I decided against it. Because clearly, they're... Totally fine with certain people doing evil and unethical shit as long as it's their people. It's a chilling effect on discourse. A stain on democracy that things like this are allowed to happen. At least that is from the most charitable perspective of democracy. Which we all know, at least the people who've been following me for some time know, I don't have. And, and you know, 4chan just helped break into the laptop I brought up. In my now deleted tweet, I should never have had to delete that tweet. There are people who have said worse things about presidents and their family. There are people using those words right now. Twitter is evil. End of note. That pretty much sums it up. And then I got into this little mini exchange exchange with fucking <laughs> Bolt over here. Um, it's always, you know, going to be a positive interaction when you have a Chia pet as an avatar. Um, so <laughs> he's trying to make excuses like Biden isn't a threat to all of our privacy. Like, the Biden family hasn't been a massive threat to privacy. Maybe if Hunter Biden cared about privacy, he would call his dad out on the Patriot Act! Maybe we shouldn't care that his laptops or personal devices got compromised when his whole family, which he is skyrocketing to benefit on regularly, that family doesn't give a fuck about yours. But you're not allowed to criticize the powerful. You're not allowed to criticize the president. You're just supposed to shut up and take it. You can't fight back. That's the message Twitter sends when they selectively enforce their bullshit rules. And it's the reason people should definitely get on platforms like Bastion. It's the reason people should definitely get um, as many backups as possible if they do want to remain in places like that. Because if you don't, then when you get suspended, you will have given all of this free work to Twitter. They're entitled cunt asses for nothing! Because they're the real entitled. It's like, it's like they're, they're defending their own in terms of ideological and like lifestyle positions. They're entitled cunts, so of course they would have the back of entitled cunts in power. I mean, it all really makes sense when you think about it. And that's why I've been Jeremiah Harding. Smash the fucking state.